Hi, my name's Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab and I'm also one of the Prepper Data um, Challenge contributors and that's where we're going to be getting our data from today. So we're going to be talking about how to pivot rows to columns in Tableau Prep. This is similar to doing a cross tab in Altrex if you're familiar with that. Um, it's just about reshaping your data basically. So let's show you the uh, challenge that we're going to be looking at. We're looking at 2019 week 31 um, and we're going, we have this um, input data set. So we're going to be looking at sort of some order data and we're looking at the status of the order data. So whether it's been sent, received, purchased, etc., cetera, um, and just some information about the customers themselves, which won't be too relevant to us for this challenge of pivoting the data so that we have a column for each order status and the date in that column as to what's happening there. So first of all, to do our pivot step, we are going to use uh, click on a plus next to our input data, hit the pivot button. And then this is something that I think could be made a little bit clearer, but by default, um, the pivot that we're doing, if we look at the pivot step itself, it's quite clear, is columns into rows. But for this video, obviously we're talking about rows to columns pivoting. And this here, this little drop down is where we're going to be doing that rows to columns pivot, where we change the interface of the pivot step. And not only have we changed it here, but you will see in the actual step itself that it's now much clearer that it's going from the rows to the columns. So every discrete value of that row is now going to be a separate um, column, a separate heading of our new columns. So hopefully that was nice and clear and you can see the interface uh, from our rows to column change. So for this data set, we're looking at the order status. That's the field that the rows will become the new column headers. What will those column headers be? Well, if I drag my status over into my pivoting field, then you will see it did a little bit of a calculation in that um, pop-up window, if you saw that. It was getting all the distinct values. So these are our three new column headers. You will notice that we've got a nice alert at the moment. Um, it's just telling us that, hey, you're not finished configuring this step. There's more that you need to do to actually get this to be a rows to column pivot. So we've got an alert here, here, and all the way up here as well, all just telling us that we need to add something down into our aggregate um, for the new columns. So what we're going to be adding in is the date field so that we have um, for each status, um, the date as to when that happened. So we pick up our date and we drag it down to the bottom here and you will notice that um, at the moment in our three new columns that we have we've got just ones and zeros and that's because by default um, it's doing a count here. Now we don't want it to be a count, we want it to be the actual date. So we're going to say either minimum or maximum, it doesn't matter because we know that for each line of the data there is only one date that will be associated with each order status. So minimum or maximum, they will both return the same values, so we'll just go with minimum here. And now you can see over in our data set that we have our purchase date, our review date and our sent dates now in these three columns instead of all being um, in one column. And it's as easy as that. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to this channel. Check out our previous video on columns to rows pivots. And as this is the final video of this week, then please take a look at some of our other related videos and come back next week for more prep content. Thanks for watching.